what's your uh, reflection of that game? Well, I know last week you were pretty. Well, I think we all were. Yeah, we of course. We probably, on that I think performance, performance wise, a lot better. 100% this week. better. That's all I want from a Barnsley football team is to try. And we've first done that and foremost, we, we have done. I mean, people are going to say you're hypocritical. This, that, and other. Well, you know, performance were a lot better. I mean, I question the starting lineup, but if McGee and Moat are injured, the lads that come in have done a great job. Yeah, Sibic. If not better than Moat and McGee, had a great game. Playing out of position. Cavare, my man at match. Fantastic performance. Yeah, we looked so much more threatening down that right hand side. I think it gave so much confidence to other players because he just didn't seem to give a shit. Yeah, um, I thought TM had a good game. I thought the keeper had a great game since it's his first league game. Yeah, you know, a lot of pressure um, coming away from home. With I know Fradlinger made a few mistakes last week, but it's I know he had a good game against Carlisle, but for Collins, he made the saves when he had to do. He mm. didn't really have a um. He weren't really that busy, but when yeah. he had to make the saves, he, he, were, he were threatening. For Alma, compared to Carlisle again, you know, the players that have been given a chance by Stendhal have really proved themselves today. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, obviously, the only one in there who we thought might have been took, well, I suppose we didn't expect him, were Bearer being took out, because he's been off the last few games, but yeah. he's stepped up a bit today. Um, and I don't think he could have played any worse as he has done. Yeah. Um, I don't think he did much, but he had that chance could it to be fair i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna like be a big you know i'm, I'm a IA bear this time this time the other but i felt that bear had a better game than against Luton, but I yeah that wigan were a poor opposition yeah i i, I was just gonna say to steve in his interview actually i know it's uh it might be a bit hypocritical for me to say but i would be worried looking at that performance as a wigan yeah i support way. yeah I, the, I, I i get where you're coming from but i couldn't give a shit about wigan no um, no, no i'm just bothered about us <laughs> i mean more I'm glad that he didn't score. I was, I was, I was dreading. I was having nightmares that Moore had scored today. Yeah. It's just typical for a well, football player to score against it. Up, uh, Apparently, yeah. were. And then he comes up with this magical sponge that he that he never had at Barnsley. Mm. Nice to see him not come over and clap fans. I know, well, wouldn't well, it? Well, fuck him. End of. Yeah. We, 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 we come straight up plays there, are Yeah. Um, he wanted to go. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, no, you were saying in ground you might have made some subs a bit early. Yeah, on, I think so. I would um, have brought possibly Schmidt on a bit early and maybe Green with a bit of pace. Down that right hand side, I think our wingers were tiring a little bit. I think Cavari and Ben Williams had to do a lot of defending in that last 15 minutes. They weren't threatening Wigan. I just think to make it safe, to give yourselves a better chance of a win, I felt that winnable that game. Yeah. A clean sheet away from home and a point compared to Luton last week is 100% better. Yeah. So well Slide. done to the lads for that. I'm not going to, you know, people are going to say, oh, you know, I'll just knock people down. I'll see as I say it, if they've played yeah. well, I'll, I'll say they've played well. If they've played shit, I'll call it out and yeah. say they've played shit. And the attitude last week weren't good enough, but this week they must have knuckled down in training ground. And you could see at the end, they were really pleased with that result. And that's yeah. all we want as Barnsley fans. The lads that are know that go to the games home and away, that's all we want. No matter how good they are as a, as a team or as individuals, is to give 110% for the club yeah, whilst get, they're here. And get the three points. Um, I, mean, I think, I think, yeah, I know. And we could have, if we had that slight bit more quality, and we could have got some maybe a bit Woodrow more. Today, and Mower, maybe missed them a little bit. A bit more yeah. clinicalness, maybe a bit more quality in front of goal. Um, um, but I, I felt if that chance of Thomas has fallen, to wouldn't yeah, know it's a goal. Isn't but it? I think their keeper pulled some great saves off. I think he were maybe the difference. Yeah. I think if you know if their keeper, you know, we, we could have we had two or three. I think good chances if their keeper don't make them saves, it could be two or three or nil. Mm. Um, but I think we did the simple stuff well, and I want to carry this on to Leeds. Mm. Don't overcomplicate it. Leeds are a great, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I know people don't like probably hate it. Leeds are a great side for the championship. Yeah. Bielsa is a fantastic coach for this level. The, they are a good team. Yeah. They're going to come here. I know they've lost it against Swansea, but they're going to come here full of confidence and expecting to rout us. Mm. But we go into that game, do the simple stuff, play, get it, get the ball in their half, and then play in their half. Yeah. Don't overcomplicate it. Fuck about with the ball in our box. We're in a position at the minute. Yes, we are on the bottom floor, but in terms of performance, it's a lot better, and it's a lot to take into that international break. Where hopefully our players that go out on international duty come back fit and not injured. Mm. And hopefully the likes of Brown can come back and Woodrow can come back and Diaby can come back and we've maybe got some more options. But the lads today that have come in, they, you know, I were questioning before it start. We all were, weren't we? That? We, we, we all were. Been one we all were. Time, not questioning that We all were. Today. We were like, what's the formation? Who is he playing? Does he deserve to start? Does he deserve to start? But the lads today, I give, take my hat off, they did well. Yeah. They did well. And I feel that we could have beaten him and maybe that's a bit down to confidence. Just maybe that 
10, 20% a bit more confidence when it's mattered yeah. in front of goal. Miss maybe that bit more a clinical pass when it's mattered. But, you know, to go away from home, compared to the game against Luton, as we were all aware, it wasn't good enough to come away with a clean sheet against a team that's probably going to be in and around us where we are at the end of the season, if we're being realistic, is a good point. So we build on it. Hopefully the lads over the, over the next two weeks can, again, build on that. And if we can get, like, so like I said, Jacob fit, Mowat fit, Woodrow fit, going to Leeds, you know, like Steve just said, it's a derby. We, we know people have wrote us off before against Leeds. We proved them wrong. Yeah. You know, let, you know, let them think that Leeds are going to absolutely arsehole us. You know, let's prove them wrong. All I'm bothered about is 110% performance. The game against Leeds isn't going to define our season. There's other games that's going to define our season. But as long as we give 110%, that's all I'm bothered about. Um, but performance a lot better. So I'm going to say well done to the lads for today. Um, and we move on, don't we? We do. Good day.